Good afternoon, Wilkie fans. Hey, this is Brian over here at Wilkie Manufacturing. Uh, I'm going to do a short video today on changing the cables on a Wilkie Model 60 service ladder, which I already have this one it's pulled off from the floor in the here, um, and I've already started on it, but I wanted to kind of brief everybody. These are a pretty simple cabling system. So basically, when you start off, you will remove the nuts here and this one is not inserted as of yet you'll remove those that'll loosen these cables up then you would disconnect these two cables here these two are your extension cables and this is your retraction cable you'll undo these like I say these are already run once these are disconnected and you disconnect the other end, come back, you'll remove this nut here on the back side. This bolt here will come out and this end of the cable will remove through here. You can drop this sheave out here on the bottom side. The eyelet and everything will fit here and drop out. And then on this end, you'll undo the, pull the pin, undo, pull the pin. This sheave here will drop down. This sheave here will allow you to slide it out this way. And once this one is out of the way, you can remove this other sheave here. That will also allow you to pull the thimbled end out of here and here. Big thing to note on when you're putting the new cables in as I've started doing here <clears throat> be sure that you do not get these two cables crossed because uh, it'll lead to an uneven tensioning when you go to put your new cables in basically you'll remove the nut so you've got two nuts here this is your tensioner nut this is a jam nut and this is a jam nut they will slide through here. Also note, your extension and your retraction cables are all the same length. So that sometimes will confuse people. So for me, normally what I do is I will bottom the ladder section. You can see here, this ladder is all the way back. Then I will attach your retraction cable. And this is a retraction cable here. And you'll notice it's just in here, just a couple threads in. Then I will start putting in your extension cable threads. This one I haven't done yet, but we'll do that. I'm gonna pause the video, and then I'm gonna show you uh, the tensioning of this setup. Now that I have the other bolt, the other eyelet installed, you'll come in here and you'll start tensioning using a turn on this. A little hard to do, you don't want, you'll notice that that cable wanted to rotate uh, as you're doing this. It's hard. I'm shooting this with a camera in one hand and a wrench in the other hand. So as you tension this, this will want to rotate. You want to keep it pretty much static uh, in the current position. So normally what I'm gonna do is I will put about two turns on one side then I move over and I go two turns on the other side the retraction side I'm leaving just kind of setting here because as these tension the ladders will move forward and you will have to have a stagger at the back end I'm gonna pause again and uh, we'll start moving it forward and I'll show you the stagger the other thing I was gonna point out um, that I forgot to do earlier, uh, you'll also notice that normally the workman's platform is in is right here. Now I have removed this. Uh, it's a pretty simple process to remove it. There's two bolts here at the back that act as the pivots. Then there are two basket cables, which are located here and here. 
Uh, basically, you'll undo those, and then the basket or workman's platform slides out the front. Uh, this gives you a easier access to do your cables. Uh, you can do it with it in place. It just makes it a lot more difficult. This will save you a lot of time. And your basic tools that you need to do this is just a 916 socket, 916 wrench, and a pair of three quarter inch uh, for your two bolts here. Uh, that's pretty much it for as far as tools. It's not a very complex setup. Very straightforward, very well engineered. The two cables, these are your two for extension. Um, so if one of the cables becomes damaged or breaks or whatever reason fails, you would have a secondary on here that will completely support the ladder. So it's a double safety rating. And you'll notice that these have a little bit more tension on them. And where I was flush here in the back has moved forward. We're not quite enough forward for the stagger that's required. The reason the stagger is in here is that over time cables stretch and this will move backwards. If this is set up with it completely flush uh, and the cable stretch, you'll be banging into the end of this box and it'll damage the end of your ladder section. I'm going to pause it again as we continue to move forward, but you see that things are moving forward a little bit. You'll notice there's quite a bit more tension on the retraction cable because this one is just saying static. I haven't adjusted on it. I'm just extending, just adjusting the extension cable. So I'll pause the video again and we'll move forward a little bit more. So you'll notice that we are now staggered off of where we originally started at. You're sitting in there about an inch and a half, which is where it should be. This is the other thing is that you will need that I left out earlier. Uh, this is a standard fishing scale. And what you will do with that is you'll check your cable tensions. This is going to be a little tricky. I really like this fish scale mainly because it's got a tape measure on the side which makes the job a little easier. But what you'll do is you'll go to the middle of the ladder. Hook on the hook. I'm going to pause this again. Then with your hook on and your link here, you will pull to the side uh, that will give you three inches of offset and you'll want to go to 10 pounds of side pull. Right there. Once you've done that, then you'll check the cable on the other, going on the other direction. And I've, I have already measured this, but you will see. You've got 10 pounds of side pull. This ensures that both of your cables are equally tensioned. Um, over-tensioning cables serves no benefit other than you will run into premature uh, ball bearing wear because both of the, the uh, sheaves are all ball bearing on the inside. So you've got your gap, you've got your tension, and once you're at that point, then you come back up to the front, lock in your jam nuts, on both sides to retain your tension. You'll notice this one is still not tightened yet, but it will be shortly. You'll just tighten that up with a 9 16 as is this one. Once that is completed and everything is locked down tight, then you would go back, put the basket back in at the front. It'll slide in this way. Put your uh, two pivot bolts back in and reconnect your uh, cables for the uh, platform. And that's pretty much it. Now, Wilkie does require any of the service ladders. You change your cables every two years. 
Uh, if it's a crane, it's three years. But for the man platform, it's two years or 2,400 hours, whichever comes first. And if you have any questions for your 60 ladder, if you look on page 22 of your manual, pause right here. This is the full cabling instructions. If you've never done this before, figure in about two hours of your time. Uh, if you're an experienced shop, maybe an hour. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great day. Please like and subscribe.